do you exactly mean for crowd leaders and why they're getting so relevant? I'm that somebody who's, um, or a company, or people within a company who are doing this have to recognise is that they're no longer in control. Um, you know, we've talked about the empowered consumer for many years, but it's only now that the consumer really is in charge. And everybody who's in business, certainly of my generation, we were always taught at business school that, you know, you had to be in command and in control, and it was about return on investment and KPI, and everything was logical, rational, linear, and you had the levers, powers of lever. And that's not true anymore. You know, the consumer, the crowd, has power and has authority over your company and you need to be able to uh, to, to, to bend with um, that. And, and it, it depends on the company, it depends on the sector, and it depends on who their crowd is. And everybody's got a different crowd. And everybody's crowd is like, you know, your friends are different to my friends. And if I looked at all of your friends, they'd have different attitudes to all of my friends. So every company's going to have a different crowd. Um, that's the first One point. One example of how, well, Dell, again, how Dell dealt with their crowd. Um, first of all, they took a year when this, when this whole I hate Dell.net thing uh, broke, uh, uh, started. They took a year to actually enter the conversation. And, but they did. They started blogging and they started answering um, some of the questions and some of the criticisms that came from the blog, blogs. And slowly but surely, people began to like them more. And then um, they did something quite remarkable. They decided that some of the comments that people were making on the blogs were actually commercially valuable that they were making good suggestions about laptops, about PCs, about servers, about software. And so they set up called something called IdeaStorm. And IdeaStorm, if you go look at it, is basically a suggestion box. So if I think Dell should make a round laptop, I put my suggestion onto um, IdeaStorm, and then the rest of the crowd can vote on that suggestion. And if it's a popular suggestion, then it'll go up to the top. And so Dell have got, if you like, regular consumer-driven research for products. And they've taken that, and you know, if, if you know, we quote Michael Dell in the book, and he's, he said that um, because of this, the customer is now always walking the halls at Dell, and that they believe that they've got better products, more customer focus in their products, and better services for it. Thank you. Thank you.